Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Lidke here. Today, we're going to be talking about volume. Exploring volume. What is volume? First, let's review what we talked about when we're talking about perimeter and area. When we're talking about area, we're talking about the amount of space inside of a shape, okay? Whether that's a field or just a rectangle on the board, how much space that shape takes up is its area. That's dealing with a two-dimensional object in two dimensions of space. We had, for example, length times width as our formula, which gave us measurements of centimeters squared and meters squared. The difference and the similarity of volume is that volume is the amount of space inside a 3D object. For example, if I look at this tissue box, it's a three-dimensional object. Now, if this box was full, you can see on here, maybe you can't, but it has 126 tissues in here. So I can say that the volume of this tissue box is about 126 tissues. Now, the reason that I say about is because there's still some space left over inside because tissues aren't exactly perfect in the way that they measure the volume of this box. Another example would be this pack of Sharpies. This pack of Sharpies contains 25 Sharpies. So the volume of this Sharpie pack is about 25 Sharpies. Again, it's not an exact measurement because there's still some space inside the package that isn't taken up by the Sharpies. How do we get exact measurements of volume? Good question. We're going to use measurements of centimeters cubed and meters cubed. Now, when we look at a centimeter cubed, the centimeter cubed is this little guy right here. Okay? So when I put this centimeter cube, if I was to take my tissue box and fill it up with these centimeter cubes, since it's a cube and each side is square, they would take up this space perfectly and we could get an exact measurement of the volume of this tissue box using a cubic centimeter. You may be asking yourself, how do I get it to be a cubic centimeter? What does that even mean? Good question. What we have here with this little guy, I've blown up on the board right here. Every side of the cubic centimeter is one centimeter. The other measurement that we're going to use is a cubic meter. Now, I've built a cubic meter here using meter sticks. So we can see each side of the cube is a meter in length. Hence, a cubic meter. What do we use cubic meters and cubic centimeters for? Like I said earlier, when we're talking about volume, it's the amount of space inside of an object. We wouldn't measure the amount of space inside of our classroom or a room in your house using cubic centimeters. That would take a lot. For example, inside this cubic meter, it will take you one million of those little squares, the cubic centimeter, to fill this thing up. So a measurement of the classroom in cubic centimeters would be super hard to measure for one thing, and also really not going to help us a lot in determining how big that classroom is or as giving us a mental picture. So what I need you to envision is me taking this cube, cubic meter, and putting it in the corner and then stacking a whole bunch of them up until I get to the roof and then filling the whole classroom up with these cubes all stacked neatly together. Okay, that's going to give me my volume in cubic meters. However many of these cubes I can fit into the classroom is going to give me my volume in cubic meters. Let me show you another little example using something a little bit smaller. What I have here is a box full of sugar cubes. To have a look, see, I can pull out one of the sugar cubes right here. This is, imagine, a cubic centimeter. It's a little bit bigger, but for our purposes, we're going to pretend that this sugar cube is a cubic centimeter. 
Now, you can see that inside the box, everything is filled up. All the space in here is filled up with sugar cubes, or in our case, cubic centimeters. So how do we figure out, without counting, we could take all the sugar cubes out and count them to figure out what the volume of this package is, but we don't have to. We're going to be able to use math, and I'm going to show you how right now. What we have here is the formula for volume. This is also going to help explain how do we get the cubic centimeter as well. Remember, with area, the formula was length times width. That's because we had two dimensions. We had one square taking up a length and a width, and we found the area inside that square. Now I've got a cube. So what happens is I've added another dimension, hence three-dimensional. I've got volume as a big capital V equals small l for length times w for width times h for height. And we can see that we've got one centimeter wide, one centimeter long, and one centimeter high. So we get one centimeter cube. How does that work? Let me show you. Here I've got the formula written out using the numbers from my cube. I've got one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter, which is the length, the width, and the height of this cube. Remember when we talked about it in area, one times one times one equals one. Centimeter times centimeter times centimeter equals centimeter cubed. Hence, centimeter cubed. How does that help us to calculate the volume of our sugar cube box? Well, I'll tell you right now. We've got three measurements for this box. Let me write them in a chart. Here's my chart. With my sugar cubes made into a rectangular prism, this object has a length of 12 sugar cubes. So I'm going to write 12 in length. Notice I've already added in the centimeters in my chart. 12. Now, the width of my box is 6 centimeters. Remember, I'm using the cubes and pretending that they're centimeter cubes. The height of my box is 2 centimeters. Okay, so let's review. My box has a length of 12 centimeters, a width of 6 centimeters, and a height of 2 centimeters. Let's put that in the formula and see what we get. Here, I have the measurements written in the formula. Remember, volume equals length times width times height, because there's three dimensions of the objects that we're going to be measuring the inside space of. The length is 12 centimeters times 6 centimeters is 72 centimeters. 72 centimeters times 2 centimeters equals 144 centimeters. So my volume of my sugar pack is 144 centimeters cubed. Hundred and forty four centimeters cubed inside my sugar pack. Let's review. Volume is the amount of space inside a three-dimensional object. We can estimate volume using things like Sharpies or tissues. For example, 25 Sharpies inside this package. It's about 25 Sharpies in volume. It's pretty hard to use Sharpies as a way to measure other things. So instead of measuring with Sharpies, we use a cubic centimeter, which is this little guy right here, or a cubic meter, which is this big guy right here. Remember, a cubic centimeter and a cubic meter are called that because each side of the cube is that length. For example, 
The cubic meter has one meter in length, one meter in width, and one meter in height. One meter times one meter times one meter is one meter cubed. The same thing goes for the centimeter. One centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter is one centimeter cubed. We can see that again here with our chart, which shows the three measurements of the sugar cube pack with the length being 12 centimeters, the width being six centimeters, and the height being two centimeters. If I was gonna build my own object, knowing its specific volume, I could do that using my chart. If I was gonna be asked, what's the volume of this shape? Knowing the measurements, I can put it in my formula, which is capital V equals small l length times small w width times small h height. And that's volume in a nutshell, or in a meter cubed.